guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is august 6 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and we have a big breaking news red alert the sleeping giant has acknowledged that Persia has moved very powerful equipment and conducted military exercises moves that signal Persia is preparing to launch an imminent strike in the coming days. Look at this. I, I posted a video a few hours ago. I think it was the northern part of uh, Persia, Iran. Uh, the northern part, there was a huge boom sound. And so a lot of people assumed that Persia got hit. Now, Persia came out and said, nah, we're just doing our military exercises. We're just getting ready for the Holy Land. So, they were conducting military exercises. At the same time, they were moving these big boys. So, uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Once again, the bear is also helping out. The bear begins delivering advanced arms to persia all right guys before i start give this video big thumbs up share this video with your friends family some loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. Once again, we are seeing some very powerful equipment are being moved. Um, the bear is also responsible for this uh, delivery. This is an update. It just came out not too long ago. According to reports, the bear official had confirmed that the bear capital has begun providing Persia with advanced air defense and radar equipment. This comes after Persia leader, including newly elected, expressed desire to expand strategic relations with the bear during meetings with senior Kremlin officials. Once again, this person praised the bear for standing by Persia during difficult times and condemned recent Holy Land action in the Strip and the takeout of, I'm going to skip his name there, guys, in Persia capital, Tehran. Once again, it says here, Persia leader said that the shared position of Persia and the bear in promoting a multipolar world would certainly lead to greater global security and peace. Well, according to scripture, there's no such thing as peace in these times that we are living. So it says here, this development reflects the deep deepening ties between the two lands, which have largely backed the same regional proxies amid the escalating tensions in the mid e mm. Once again, the sleeping giants are sounding the alarm. Sleeping giant officials to the Wall Street Journal have said that the sleeping giant has observed Persia is moving powerful equipment. Military drills have also been observed which could be related to defensive and offensive measures. Mm. We're going to get to the source on that one. But we have breaking news updates, guys. There was a big boom in UKR. A video of the moment when a bare ballistic equipment impacted the yellow and blue city. Wow. Wow. We have a very, very powerful uh, event that went on in the capital. So, again, I'm not going to play the video. I, I, I'm just going to share it on my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. Now, guys, this is very important because Persia is coming out and telling world pilots, doesn't matter which land you're from, every single one of you pilots, you better avoid 
airspace. You better avoid it. So Persia is sending warnings to all pilots around the world. Just imagine that. You're getting a message from Persia. Stay away from this region. Let's see what's going on here. The Mid-E is bracing for a potential escalation of event as tension between Persia and the Holy Land continue to rise, with Persia reportedly upping the anti by restricting its airspace in anticipation of a likely strike on the Holy Land, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal. The Sleeping Giant Secretary of State warned Sunday that Tehran could launch a strike on the Holy Land within 24 to 48 hours, uh, raising concerns about regional stability. During a call with the G7 foreign ministers, once again, Mr. Blinken shared intelligence suggesting an imminent event from Persia, though he did not specify the form it might take. This warning comes in the wake of recent... We're going to skip all that information. On Monday, Persia took steps that further fueled concerns. The country called a gathering of foreign diplomats in Tehran, where acting foreign minister uh, criticized that he termed as sleeping giant and European, uh, European uh, complicity in supporting the Holy Land. Such aggression cannot go unanswered. Once again, this person here stated on the platform following the meeting, the IS Republic's response will be uh, definite, um, decisive. According to a sleeping giant official who spoke with the journal, Persia issued a notice to pilots and aviation authorities warning of potential disruption to GPS. A navigation signal, this warning posted on the website of the Sleeping Giant Federal Aviation Administration echoes a similar notice issued by Persia on April the 13th, the day it launched its first direct um, strike on the Holy Land. However, Persia later denied reports of issuing such a notice, and its airspace appeared to remain operational as of Monday afternoon with regional flights continuing as usual. So, who's the one that sent out the warning? Possibly the Sleeping Giant. So it says here, the Sleeping Giant is responding to the heightened tensions by moving more military assets into the region and working to assemble a correlation similar to the one that helped Holy Land defend against Persia massive drone strike in April. So the current situation offers from the April incident in that Persia has been less forthcoming about its intention diplomats in the region uh, report uh, difficulty in obtaining information from Tehran or encouraging de-escalation. All right, so the tension has already impacted air travel in the region. All right, you got multiple countries here. I'm just going to skip it. Despite these cancellation, operation at Ben Airport in the Holy Land remain largely normal, with some travelers opting to leave Holy Land early to avoid potential complications. The current uh, situation was sparked by the takeout of this individual. So we're going to skip all this here, guys. We're going to skip all this here. Now, let's see what's going on with this story. Give me a second here. Where is it? Okay, so I can't, I can't read the article. I can't read the article, guys. I have to pay. <laughs> Man, I have to pay, even though the company is... It's millions, uh, it's worth millions and upon millions of dollars. They've been around since over 100 years. Uh, they still want to charge. All right, so I I can't read. Where, well, it's this one right here, guys. Give me a second. The Sleeping Giant official have said that the Sleeping Giant has observed Persia moving ballistic. Excuse me, moving missiles. 
give me a second here. Let me see if I could check something out here really quick. Go on Twitter and see if there's any any breaking news. Um, give me a second here. Hmm. 13 minutes ago, the Mid E event looks set to explode into all out biblical war as the sleeping giant threatened retaliation for rocket blast. That, ooh. <laughs> Uh, it seems like the sleeping giant might be getting involved in this one here. Wow. Um, you guys already know there was uh, a massive hit. Sleeping giant soldiers got impacted. Well, it seems like we're about to get involved and we're about to send a message. Uh, sleeping giant uh, warns retaliation for the events that hit the sleeping giant soldiers. It's military scramble destroyers and fighter jets to the Holy Land. Oh my goodness. That is a big breaking news there, guys. Big breaking news that's coming out right now. Hmm. Mm -mm And it seems like everything's up to date now. I literally post so many videos today, even my new channel. <laughs> so uh, I've been um, posting some some videos today, guys. So all all the links besides my new channel link, uh, the video is not going to be in the comments box, but uh, you could check out the um, the main channel. It should be in the comments box. It should say follow me on my new channel, The Rise of Warrior. That's the channel I'm posting uh, new videos. All right, this is something here, guys. Give me a second. I don't know if it's important, but it seems like it's something to talk about. The Bear Bombshell Statement. A full-scale biblical war is the only way to a fragile peace. Let's see what's going on here. Dimitri, ah, oh, this is the former leader of the Bear, the one that talks about the uh, WW3 end of the world and this and that. The former leader of the Bear, Dimitri, position on the Mid-E are questionable, while the Bear capital presents itself as a supporter of peace in the Mid-E. The former leader of the Bear and deputy chairman of the Bear Security Council said that a full-scale biblical war in the Mid-E is probably the only way to achieve fragile peace in the region. It is clear to everyone that a full-scale biblical war is the only way to fragile peace in the region, he wrote on X. Excuse me, in X. As correspondents and the bear expert comments, Dimitri Rowe is on the one hand to reveal the Kremlin uh, hidden thoughts in relation to the situation and on the other hand to cause fear in the West and there is also this side of the bear which at any moment can dominate and things are driven to the point of no return. The words of the bear official are anything but for the guys and he means what he says and in fact every post seems to be made in consultation. The westerners are invited after each of his inventions to think uh, with which the bear they want to agree with a soft of the bare side of economic cooperation or with the wild one of nuclear and push buttons. 
The role of the bear VP is very useful. Everyone in the bear gov appreciates what that entails. Otherwise, the bear capital is in a waiting position for the events between Persia and the Holy Land. Of course, rushing to support the Persians' air defense as the latest report convey. Convey. Excuse me. All right, so that's the former leader of the bear, Dimitri. And it seems like this is all the information, guys. I'm going to keep it updated with all these breaking news. This is where we are right now. If you can, please share the video. Give this video a thumbs up. The Sleeping Giant is really, really, really keeping an eye on this one here. So, again, uh, we are seeing uh, a lot of uh, exercises, military preparing. Um, please pray for the Sleeping Giant soldiers out there that were impacted. They got hit. So, um, like I say, guys, there's a lot of stuff happening. And we could see possibly today, August 6th. Right now it's 1.41 a.m. We can see something today, and I'll tell you what, guys, uh, if we go to war with Persia, yeah, everything will hit the roof. But don't worry, we have the best, best sleeping giant leader in the world, and the best VP. They got everything under control. They got everything, everything under control. Forget about the stock market. It's nothing. It's nothing. Everything's under control. But scripture tells us a whole different ball game. In these last days, oh, there will be many things to come, even antichrist spirits uh, that will lie to many. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. And no one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.